Very nice. And we get back to international news right now. The U.S. is gearing up for annual joint military drills with South Korea. And that's triggering new threats from North Korea. The rogue regime now calling the war games, quote, reckless. And again, warning it could strike any part of the U.S., including the U.S. territory of Guam, which is where William Lajeunesse is reporting live. William? Well, Arthel, you know, every year for the last two decades, North Korea has complained that the U.S. is going to somehow use this joint military exercise as a pretext to invade their country. This year is no different. With the Hermit Kingdom saying in a statement uh, in state media yesterday, and I'll quote, if sparks fly as a result of an incident, no amount of strength could prevent war. Should a second Korean war erupt, it will only lead to nuclear war. Now, the North is referring to this Operation Ulchai Freedom. It's an annual military drill involving thousands of U.S. and South Korean troops. In the past, Kim has simply flown his missiles into the ocean. Now, however, he can hit Guam. And last week, he postponed that option but did not rule it out. While the U.S. hopes that U.S. sanctions will force him to negotiate, not everyone is convinced that his new leverage won't work out. The ultimate goal is to get the U.S. military presence off of the Korean Peninsula. And keep in mind that this president, uh, Donald Trump, of course, has said he's questioned whether or not the U.S. should have such a large military presence in South Korea. That's precisely what Pyongyang has always wanted. Now, in Pyongyang, new posters are going up around the city that depict, among other things, the U.S. capital in ruins to protest the new U.S.-led U.N. sanctions that are going to hurt him economically. About one-third of the uh, North Korean exports are in jeopardy with that. Now, in Japan, they are, pos they are preparing, rather, for possible strikes on Guam. Why? Well, they're testing sirens and evacuation plans because any North Korean missile to reach Guam has to go over Japan, and there's a fear that they will malfunction and drop debris. Under the current situation where we don't know when or where missiles will be launched, I've been concerned every day that something might fall or a missile could fall in an unexpected place due to North Korea's missile capabilities. Now, China and Russia are proposing a plan, a freeze plan, that the United States would stop military operations and freeze our military footprint on the Korean Peninsula in exchange that Kim Jong-un would basically freeze his missile and his nuclear program. However, critics say, you know, Arthel, um, that country cannot be believed. Their words cannot be trusted. And for that reason, we should not pursue it. However, there are six congressmen in um, South Korea right now who are considering that very option. Back to you. That's a fascinating uh, story there. William Lajeunesse reporting from Guam. Thanks, William.